Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and Happy New Year. I want to welcome you for joining us watching this virtual concert for celebrating the 2021 Chinese New Year. We want to thank our Chinese New Year sponsors, Ms. Robin Blackwood and Mr. Steve Wilson, Ms. Tina Liao and Mr. Jin San Tang. In appreciation, we are the Chinese New Year celebration Year of the Ox is in honor of all the frontline workers and our local community members and those who have passed away during the pandemic. Please consider making a donation to TCCC. My name is Peter Chan. I'm the president of Tucson Chinese Association. I'll be one of the MCs for tonight's concert. My name is Tina Liao, the vice president of Tucson Chinese Association. I'm one of the MCs for tonight's concert as well. Looking back at 2020, it was such a very difficult year for all of us. We have been experiencing the pandemic of COVID-19 since the beginning of last year. So far, there have been 1.6 billion people that were affected worldwide, and 470,000 Americans have lost their lives. Tonight, we would like to dedicate this Lunar New Year concert to pay tribute to all the frontline workers and those who have passed away in this pandemic. Following is a proclamation presented by Mr. Barry Wong. He's the Executive Director of the Governor's Equal Opportunity Office in the state of Arizona. Greetings. It's an honor for me to be here to be with you to celebrate Chinese Lunar New Year. My name is Barry Wong, Director of the Governor's Office of Equal Opportunity. Governor Ducey asked me to represent him today to read his proclamation in support and to recognize Chinese Lunar New Year. Allow me. I'll read excerpts because you have the actual copy in front of you. State of Arizona Proclamation. Whereas Lunar New Year is an important multi-day holiday celebrated by people in various cultures around the world, each with unique holiday references, including the Chinese who call it Spring Festival, Koreans call it Sol Nal, and the Vietnamese call it Tet. Whereas Lunar New Year is an auspicious beginning or renewal, whether in one's personal life or in business, government, or community affairs. Whereas Lunar New Year this year is February the 12th. And this year is a year of the ox. Whereas in celebrating Lunar New Year, friends and family gather, exchange gifts, prepare special meals and give respect to the elders and ancestors. Whereas for many decades in Arizona, the annual Lunar New Year Festival is, has been celebrated by the Chinese community, Korean community, Vietnamese community, and many more to promote, enrich, and perpetuate thousands of years of culture and heritage. Now, therefore, I, Douglas A. Ducey, governor of the state of Arizona, do hereby proclaim February the 12th 2021 as Lunar New Year Day and urge all Arizonans to join us celebrating the Year of the Ox. And on behalf of the governor's office, best wishes for a safe and healthy and prosperous new year. Thank you. 我们从去年初开始就经历了百年不遇的新冠肺炎全球大流行 
，而美国已经有超过四十七万人因此而丧失生命。今天晚上，我们的庆新春晚会将献给一直战斗在抗疫前线的工作人员，以及在这场疫情中失去生命的人们，向他们表示敬意。In January of 2020, the Tucson Chinese community acted immediately when the pandemic started in Wuhan, China. We donated money to purchase N95 masks and shipped them to the hospitals in Wuhan where the N95 were needed badly. Later, when the U.S. started to be affected by the pandemic, the local Chinese community got together again, donated over 30,000 pieces of masks, including N95s and regular surgical masks, to the local hospitals, senior assisted living care centers, fire districts, police stations, and schools districts. All the local groups take a part of tonight's virtual concert. Some videos were made in the past, and some were made particularly for this year. Please understand that for those made before the pandemic, people didn't wear masks. By putting all the programs together, we made this wonderful concert to celebrate the Year of Arts. Hope you all have a great time this evening. 下面开始我们今晚的文艺表演。首先由华人文化中心舞狮队表演舞狮。Now let's start in the exciting evening with the line dance. Presented by Tucson Chinese Cultural Center Lion Dance Troll. Please enjoy.
The next performance is baritone, Chao Family, Yuan Qing, Chao Jia, Da Yuan, Yuan Qing, performed by Du Hui from Tucson Sino Choir. The next program is Ballroom Dance, Forever Love, presented by Tucson Sino Ballroom Group. It combines two different pieces of famous music. One is called Butterfly Love, Lovers, and the other one is Romeo and Juliet. They're about similar love stories in the East and the West. The first part is in Tangle, and the second part is in Waltz. Please enjoy. <laughs>
Next performance is a piano solo, sonata number 10 in F major. Composer is Ludwig van Beethoven, who was born in 1770 and passed away in 1827. 2020 was Beethoven's 250th birthday anniversary. In memory of this great music composer, we also want to, wanted to convey hope and unity through his music and imagine the future of music. Piano performance by Jade Kai. Please enjoy. It's not a number 10 in F major. Um, it is a very dramatic piece, but it also has moments of humor as well.
The coming program is Chinese Martial Art 2020 Warriors, presented by Tucson Sino Martial Art. This group has been around over 10 years. The instructor Su Ping Zhao is also teaching in the Tucson Chinese Cultural Center. For those who want to learn Tai Chi and other forms of Ch Chinese martial arts, please go to our website, tucsonchinese.org, for details. Today, they're going to demonstrate several different kinds of martial arts. Please enjoy. The next performance is Children's Music and Dance, Totoro, performed by Tucson Chinese School. And the Guzheng performer is Rita Kai. And I want to talk a little bit about Tucson Chinese School, that it has classes on Sunday. It's virtual right now, and we have over 150 students. And Chinese School has been around for well over 65 years. So please enjoy this next performance by the Tucson Chinese School dancers and the Guzheng performer, Rita Kai. Greetings, I'm Peter Chen, president of the Tucson Chinese School Board. I'm Pei Ching Tao, principal of Tucson Chinese School. I'm Jin Hui Zhang, vice principal of Tucson Chinese School. 
On behalf of the Tucson Chinese School and the staff, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. We have been around for well over 65 years and we are able to serve the community with teaching of Chinese language and culture. 我们代表中文学校全体师生董事会成员在这里祝大家新年愉快中文学校已经有六十多年的历史我们很骄傲能够为社区服务传承中国文化。Wishing everybody a happy Chinese New Year of the Ox, healthy and prosperous. 新年快乐!
Sorry, earlier I hit some button and so you can hear my voice. Now I just have to revisit the introduction. I want to talk about this Chai Music Ages Perform. And it's brought, it, brought it to us by Culture and Performing Arts Center at the Yellow Crown Tower in Wuhan, China. Chai Bell is one of the most popular and important percussion music instrument in ancient China. It has over 4,000 years of history. They were made of bronze and being used for important events. They were being hung up and lined up by size. Different sizes will make different notes. When using different tools to hit on them, they make different sounds as well. So it's Taiping Sheng Shi Bian Zhong, Yu Zhong Guo Wu Han Huang He Lou Wen Hua Yan Yi Zhong Xin, Biao Ye, Xie Xie Da Jia. Now we are taking the intermission for 15 minutes, but we'll continue to talk about Chinese culture and also uh, we'll answer some questions. If you have any questions, send it in. Do we have any questions? Yes. People are going to ask, and they said, uh, why does Chinese New Year fall on a different date every year? Okay, the Chinese New Year, the reason it falls on a different day every year, that's because Chinese use the lunar calendar. And people know Lunar New Year. You call it Lunar New Year. That's because the calendar is called Lunar Calendar. Why? It's different from the Western calendar. And Lunar Calendar is made based on the cycle of the moon. And the Western is based on the cycle of the sun. So the cycle of the moon has 28 to 29 a month. So it's shorter than the Western calendar. And every year, if, that's why every year it falls on between January 20 something to February 15 or 20, something like that. Great. And people also ask, what kind of food do people eat to celebrate Chinese New Year? Well, uh, the most popular one probably is the dumplings. Dumplings is a symbol of unity. So every Chinese New Year, the families, Everybody join, and some people make the dough, some people wrapping it, some people cooking, just like the dumpling we have over there. And I'm sure some of you already have, it can be pan fry, it can be boiled in water, um, whatever you like. And for the Chinese New Year food, we also eat um, zhongzi. Uh, we don't have the Chinese termali, it's mostly for people in Southern. Uh, dumpling used to be uh, eaten in the northern China, but now it's popular through the whole country. And for China, Chinese, we celebrate uh, Chinese New Year for 15 days. So on this 15th day, we call the um, Lantern Festival. We'll eat a particular kind of uh, tang yuan. We call this one. It's like a sweet rice. Rice uh, dumpling. A sweet rice dumpling or something. It's a sweet and to finish celebrating the, the Chinese New Year. And also we like to eat certain kind of uh, fruits, like this apple. Can I stand up while I'm coming back? So in Chinese, we call apples pingguo. Pingguo symbolizes the peace. And then we have this pear. The pear is li, li meaning money. Good luck. And also we have a lot of uh, this Oranges. Da ji da li. So we eat lots of oranges just for lucky. And yozi. What's that called? Pomero. Pomero. pomero and big pomero. Okay. This pomero is for protecting your family and bao yo, your jia, jia ren. Okay. And also, after we're eating some sweet stuff, some cakes and Cookies, we drink some tea, of course. The black tea will be a good choice to digest good food after eating so much. Every day is a feast for 15 days. You need to drink lots of tea, okay? And now we also uh, doing firecrackers to celebrate Chinese New Year. Oh, we don't have the firecrackers? <laughs> uh, it's illegal to have uh, fireworks here in the state of Arizona, <laughs> but usually, why do we use uh, firecrackers? Because firecrackers create a very loud noise, 
So it would cast away all the evil spirits and also bring in, you know, send out the new, uh, send out the old year and bring in the new year. In tradition, year is a monster that, you know, everybody's fear. So that's why the loud firecrackers sound would, you know, uh, symbolize the beginning of the new year. What's the next question? The next question is, uh, why do Chinese like red color? Yeah, you always wonder why Chinese love red color. You see, every, everything, red color and gold color are the most favorite color of Chinese. Red color is to scare the devils away and also bring you good luck. That's why in the Chinese New Year, the first three days, I always wear something red. Okay, gold color, of course, is a symbol of money. And so those are two favorite things of Chinese. The red color is the most welcome color that Chinese would wear in the New Year. Okay, the next question is, besides China, what other countries celebrate Lunar New Year? Okay, Lunar New Year is very popular in Asian, um, such as other than China, there's Korea, South Korea, North Korea, both uh, celebrate Chinese New Year. And Vietnam, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, and Myanmar? Myanmar. Myanmar. Mi Myanmar. It <laughs> Myanmar. used to be Burma. Bur oh, it's called Burma, yeah. And those countries also uh, celebrate Chinese New Year. Okay, and then why is the character Fu posted upside down? Okay, like this character, or like this character, a lot of people like to hang it upside down, but not everywhere. Okay, there's a rule. Only in the main entrance, you wear this is the right way. But if it's on a cabinet, water uh, container, uh, those things, then you can put it upside down. Or a garbage can, you can put it upside down, meaning not taking the uh, happiness and lucky away. So the stay in there, without, meaning the food stays there. All right, and okay. so. And right now, Tina is going to demonstrate some calligraphy uh, for Chinese New Year. And uh, you get to see her uh, performing some uh, characters that, you know, is traditional for New Year's and uh, for traditional demonstration. So Chinese, uh, when we celebrate Chinese New Year, we like to um, rise and scroll like this mm -hmm. with the Chinese characters hanging by the doors or on the windows. And this year is a year of uh, ox. Of course, we have to write something ox, right? Ox is an easy one. And Chinese characters goes by the, the form, the shape of the body of the animal or whatever. So, year of ox, I'm going to write ox. Okay. This is an ox. It's kind of wet, so I have to let it dry. I'm going to hang here. And the other word, very popular, we like to write happiness. That character, we hang everywhere. Of course, we need to use a red piece of paper. By the way, the Chinese calligraphy, a pen like this, I was trained since I was six. My mom made me to sit on a little tiny tool stool to practice. You have to hang your hand, your wrist to write it. A lot of years of practice. Happiness. Now I'm going to write a happy the year of ox. That will be four characters. Chinese handwriting calligraphy, it's always when we do that, it's from the left 
to the right, from the top to the bottom. We always write it that. And the brush pen writing, for some place you have to press, some you have to lift to make it skinny. So that takes lots of practice. Actually, I should write big block in the year of ox. New Nian Da Ji. Again, hold this. Right, one more. Happy New Year, of course. If you come to the Tucson Chinese Culture Center, I will write this for you. Okay, I hope my handwriting is not too bad. I have to practice for 30 years. Okay, thank you very much. Happy New Year, everybody. Great, thank you, Tina. Um, now, we want to thank everybody who has donated towards the end of the year to the center for helping with our operations and anybody who is a, a current member and non-members and all the local Chinese community groups. We are still receiving donations and please go to our website for details. How's the time? Are we still taking a break? Should we be talking something else? Okay. Now let's continue. Okay, uh, the coming one is called Ba uh, Duan Ji. It's a Chinese Tai Ji. It's presented by Tucson Sino Tai Ji Group. Tai Ji is known as a exercise that has many benefits to one's health, such as blood circulation, body balance. It increases one's immune system. We really need it now. So today, it has become a very popular exercise worldwide. Today, Tucson Sino Taiji Group is going to present you this A bracket. Yo, Tucson Hua Jian Taiji Dui Biao Yan, Ba Duan Jin. Please enjoy. Tai Chi is an ancient Chinese martial art that today is practiced as a graceful form of exercise. It involves a series of movements performed in a slow, focused manner and accompanied by deep breathing. Tai Chi is sometimes described as meditation in motion because it promotes serenity through the gentle movements, connecting the mind and the body. Tucson Sano Tai Chi is a group of Tai Chi lovers who practice regularly to enjoy the health benefit of Tai Chi. The group also actively participates in local culture events like today to promote Chinese culture and a healthy living. During the last year, although the virus kept the group from meeting in person, the group keeps practicing via video conference. Today, the group brings you a simple and a shortened Tai Chi exercise called a brocade. Please join us to practice together to start a healthy new year.
ready for me. Step one leg aside, shoulder width apart. Bend to the knee, hold the hands in front of the abdomen like holding a big wall. Stand comfortably. Breathe naturally. Relax. 双手托天，背三焦。Holding the hands high with palms up to regulate the internal organs. Interlace your fingers, lift and push up palms. Look up, look forward, release hands. Lift and push up palms. 左右开弓，试射雕。Posing as an archer, shooting both left and right to improve lungs and the liver. Cross wrist, step open, draw the bow, step back. Cross wrist, step open. Draw the bow. 调理脾胃需单举 Holding one arm aloft to improve the spleen and the stomach. Lift one hand, pushing up. The other hand pushing down. Release down. Lift the other hand, pushing up. 五劳七伤往后翘 Looking backward to prevent. Sickness and strength. Then up. Rotate arm, palms up. Look back on one side. The turn. Then up. Rotate arm and palms up. Look back on the other side. 摇头摆尾去辛苦 Swing the head and lower the body to relieve. Step open, lift arms up, circle down. Lean towards one knee, rotate to the other knee. Swing the head and tail. Lean to the other side, rotate to the opposite knee. Swing the head and tail. Step back. Lift hands up. 两手攀足固伸腰 touching the feet to strengthen the kidney. Lift hands up. Press down. Turn palms up, reaching to back. Massage down from back, legs. Lift up. Press down. Turn palms up, reaching to back. Massage down from back, legs to hips. 传传肋骨，增气力。Punch with strong, focused eye to enhance strength. The fist, thumbs in, step wide. Punch with strong focused eye. Grasp, pull back. Punching with the strong focused eye. 背后气垫摆并消 raising and lowering the heel to prevent diseases. Raise the heel, bouncing down. Raise heels, bouncing down. Raise, bouncing down. Raise, bouncing down. Raise heels, bouncing down. Raise heels. Bouncing down. Raise heel. Bouncing down. 
natural shoe, clothing form. Two hands overlap in front of lower abdomen. Left hand inside for man, right hand inside for woman. Breathe slowly and calmly, body and mind relaxed. Welcome back. The next performance is a guitar solo by my favorite band, The Queen, Love of My Life. And the performance is by Bin Hu. Please enjoy. Welcome back. The next performance is Chinese folk dance, Plum Blossom. And it is performed by Tucson Sino Dance Group. The group has been very active in Tucson for well over a decade. Many of the members are parents of Chinese school uh, students, and they are also working professionals in the community. And they have spent a lot of time um, rehearsing and practicing their dance moves. So please enjoy and 
Share. 华兹舞蹈团成立于二零零三年，现有团员十九人，姐妹们以舞结缘，相亲相爱。共同携手走过了十七年的旅程。因为新冠，我们很幸运的在二零二零年跳起了广场舞，而且呢，还得要戴着口罩跳。闲暇时，又把美食玩出了花。当然，我们也没有忘记自己的社会责任。在艰苦的二零二零年，我们尽力而为。用舞蹈、义工和捐款，为华人社区服务，为疫情中的人们送去了信心和力量。我们的二零二零没有留下遗憾和空白。在二零二一年新春之际，仅让我代表华兹舞蹈团全体团员，祝大家身体健康。牛牛牛，万事如意，顺顺顺。二零二一，让我们一起乘风破浪。
尽头，真实可比消息。温暖的春风就要吹醒我。恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜恭喜
Hi, welcome back. The next performance is the fashion show, The National Beauty. It's performed by Tucson Sino Fashion. This is a fashion show to demonstrate the beautiful Chinese dresses in different forms. And they are, again, members of all the uh, beautiful ladies in, that live and work in Tucson. And they've been uh, practicing a lot. And I want uh, to invite everyone to enjoy the uh, performance. Please enjoy.
Next one is a Chinese music ensemble, Hero Song. It's presented by Purple Bamboo Ensemble at the University of Arizona. They have been around and present different kind of folk music and with Chinese different types of instrument. Today, they're going to present this hero song, also use different kinds of Chinese music instrument to play. Please enjoy. The last performance is by the Tucson Sino Choir, and the name of the song is Tomorrow Will Be Better. Tina, tell us a little bit about the choir. Tucson Sino Choir has been very active in the community and very supportive to all the events in Tucson Chinese community and Tucson cities of big as a whole. Okay, and they have been uh, coordinated with uh, Confucius Institute to have this Chinese New Year celebration concert for 12 years down the road. And very strong, very powerful. And today they bring us this very nice song, Ming Tian Hui Geng Hao, Tomorrow Will Be Better. We need that. In this pandemic, and we have been suffering through the whole year, still going on. We are expecting tomorrow will be better. Please enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Marsha Fest, director of Tucson Sino Choir. Tucson Huasheng Hechang Tuan, since 2007, has a song, a song, a we have held and presented the Tucson Chinese New Year concert 12 times. In 2013, we also held the Dream of a Red Chamber, 
，举办过数十次的中秋音乐晚会，参与凤凰之夜的演出，组织了汶川大地震的赈灾义演。近日，涂山华人中心因疫情所致，运营遇到了前所未有的困境。华生和他的全体团员们鼎力相助，共度难关。今天，华生合唱团全体团员想用我们的歌声，给大家送去一份温馨，一份欢乐，一份祥和。和一份深深的祝福，祝愿大家新春愉快、平安健康，祝愿我们的明天会更好。Happy New Year！
组合唱团全体团员，再祝大家新年好运，新年好运。Welcome back. I want to thank everyone for joining us today. And thank you to all the participant groups to make this concert possible. We want to wish everyone a healthy, safe, and prosperous year of the ox. 祝大家新春快乐，牛年大吉，阖家幸福，健康平安。谢谢。